Check it out, today I'm bringing you a full review of the Ironlac 400ml cans. Founded out of Australia, the Ironlac 400ml has a gloss finish and a variable pressure can. Bombing Science has supplied all the cans for this video, but like all my reviews, the opinions expressed here are based on my unbiased experience while using the product. Ironlac cans are currently priced at $5.75 per can through Bombing Science, but they also have cheaper sets available. Follow the links in the description of the video if you're interested in checking them out. I'll also mention I have a couple coupons running right now to save you even more on your order. I've been using Ironlac for years now and the cans never disappoint with awesome coverage and thick pigments. There's over 90 colors in the 400ml line, so there's plenty to choose from, and today I'll be performing a cap test on them, a swatch test, and a small painting test. Let's jump into the cap test. I'm going to start this with the stock tip that comes with all the Ironlac cans, and that's the Ironlac Widowmaker. Ironlac Sharpshooter, Ironlac NY Fat, Ironlac Vegan, Ironlac Cyclone, Montana Level 1, Montana Level 2, Montana Level 3 Montana Level 4 Montana Level 5 Montana Level 6 German Outline Number 1 Fresh Paint Skinny Banana Skinny German White Outline The German White is not compatible with the Iron Lac can Bombing Science Outline German Skinny Pro Black on Black Clear Dot Gray Dot Gold Dot Pink Dot Silver Fat As you press the Resto Fat in, it actually gets stuck in the valve and continues to spray after you release your finger. I would not recommend using the Resto Fat with Iron Lines. The NY Skinny jams up and does not spray at all. NY Fat. Needle Cap. Every time I perform a cap test, it seems like the Montana level caps give the ultimate range of size and versatility. Starting with thin caps, the Montana level 1 will have to get a slight edge over the caps like German outline number 1 and the gray dot. The level 1 has to get my preference for outlining. As for medium caps, the variable pressure really allows you to tailor the use of the soft lines or very bold ones with the same cap. I really liked how the NY Fats performance was in this category. For fat caps, the Montana Level 6 takes the crown without a doubt. The cap can exhaust the can extremely fast for really efficient fills, but if you only slightly depress the cap, you can get some really large flares as shown over top of the first dot. Moving on to the swatch test, I used the Black Widowmaker stock tip that came on all the cans. It filled very smooth and evenly on the canvas backdrop. The camera seems slightly distorted due to the canvas texture, but in the close-up shots you can really see the even application of the paint. Jarnt Guava Fantasia 
Iron Lack recommends shaking the can for a minute before spraying, and on the Gypsy Swatch, you can see that I really didn't follow this instruction. As I come around to begin filling the box, there's a clearly different shade of purple from where I started. This is entirely my fault for not shaking the can well enough. There was no issue in giving the can a little bit more mixing and then going right over the problem area. Mex Magic. Keen. Rourke Black. All of the color donuts and the online swatches matched nicely with the colors I sprayed here. And even despite the canvas mildly taking in the paint, you can still see the glossy finish in all the colors. This quick painting test serves as a time to try out some fading and general use with the Iron Lack cans. I like to consider Iron Lack cans on the higher end of pressure, but as you paint with them and release the propellant, they become much easier to get some detail work with. This is hard to compare to other cans, so I'd reserve Iron Lack to be used in medium or large applications for the majority of the can's life. As you get down to the last quarter of the can, you can expect some better handling and fine detail work. I've been using Iron Lack on and off for many years, so I'm happily satisfied with his performance once again. Priced very fairly, these cans show off their thick pigment and versatility with all the caps. The color palette I chose in this video was a little muted, but trust me, the vibrant colors from Iron Lack pop off even more than these. If you're interested in trying some out yourself, head over to bombingscience.com where I have a few coupon codes running. All the info for this will be in the description of the video. Thanks again to Bombing Science for supplying the paint for this review. I look forward to running these cans empty on some other paintings. If you like this video, I post reviews much like it every month along with speed arts and tutorials, so consider subscribing. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.